powering the laptop and then going through and powering the monitor. So we can have this entire setup with one outlet. And you know how people are at coffee shops with outlets. Don't take more than one outlet. Don't do it. You'll be in, in big trouble. So that is why I love this setup. Not only is it have great performance, and we're gonna pull the benchmarks up here in just a minute, but you also have efficiency and you minimize the space that you're taking up. In this sub 15 inch laptop backpack is a complete on the go battle station. So let's say you pulled in to your local coffee shop and you're chatting with a few friends, catching up on you know the daily news, and it's ready to get into your workflow. For me, I'm a video editor, photo editor, and well, of course, YouTuber, so that's a lot of the work that I do. I have business administration, thumbnails to edit, social media to post, and videos to edit. So I don't only need great on-the-go productivity for like business, Word docs, and Zoom calls, I'm gonna need GPU performance. I'm gonna need an external monitor for my video editing workflow, so I'm not slowed down in that process. I like to bring along a mouse and some headphones. And so really all of these things need to encompass my on-the-go battle station. And that is where everything in this backpack is going to take us. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chat with you through each of the items in the backpack and time myself for how long it takes to set this up. So when you pull into your local coffee shop or wherever you are, you can see, okay, this is quick, easy, and gives us everything we need. One more point. Often the conversation that takes place with an on-the-go setup is performance purely. But one thing we don't consider is efficiency of workflow. And that is what this battle station package has for us. All right, starting the timer, gonna get everything unpacked here. I'm gonna give you this top-down angle so you can see everything that is in the backpack. First and foremost, I have a mouse. And this is a Herschel backpack and it's rated for a 13 inch laptop actually. So I've been able to consolidate even a 15.6 inch screen into this package. Have my headphones, make sure I got jamming audio. And of course you could have brought along, you know, a bigger pair of headphones. But for me, I like more of a so smaller package. And uh, so that's why I'm gonna go with the earbuds above the headphones, which would have been a great option. I just, you know, I'm down for on the go battle station here, not just the best audio possible. But these headphones have fantastic audio and everything that I'm listing out here and putting on the table, I'm gonna link in the description below. So if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, head down in the description and check out those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Of course, that's what keeps the channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Let's just treat that like you just caught up on the daily news with somebody. So that's gonna add some time to our setup process. So forgive me on that one, but I like to keep you guys informed on where you can find all the stuff we're talking about here. Okay, so this is the Asus XG16. This is the mobile monitor. So we'll get this bad boy set up here. We're at about a minute 20 right now. And then laptop out. This is the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X13. And then last but not least, let's say that, you know, I've been working on some things, maybe do some photo editing. I have done some business administration, but now it's time to go ahead and render out the video edit that I was working on previously in the day. Let's say um, I've worked with working on that earlier. Okay, now what I need to do, of course, is have some GPU power. Now this laptop does come with the RTX 3050 Ti. So for a thin and light laptop, and I mean, and this thing is super thin and light, this thing packs a punch. But what if I need more performance? And that's really what we're gonna get into with this beauty right here. Now this is the XG Mobile. This is a RTX 3080 GPU that you can take anywhere on the go with you. Now the cool thing about this package is I can charge my laptop with the XG Mobile external GPU, and then I can hook in my USB type C to the laptop and charge the monitor. So everything can be charged off of this one device, which makes this on the go battle station truly incredible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this fin out here so this thing stands up straight for us. Here we go. And of course we are almost set up here. This would hook in right here, but I'm not gonna go through the whole rigorous setup while we're doing this right now. We'll just set that there. That's where that normally hooks in. Okay, I'm gonna stop it because I've talked with you guys for a ton of time uh, and done extra conversation about each of these pieces. But that was about three minutes to set up. 
and I bet I could have done it in a minute flat if I was really getting serious about it. Now the Republic of Gamer XG Mobile is actually powering the entire setup. So we plug this into the wall, the RTX 3080, it hooks into the laptop through this connector here. And then what we have is we're powering the laptop and then going through and powering the monitor. So we can have this entire setup with one outlet. And you know how people are at coffee shops with outlets. Don't take more than one outlet. Don't do it. You'd be in, in big trouble. So that is why I love this setup. Not only is it of great performance, and we're gonna pull the benchmarks up here in just a minute, but you also have efficiency and you minimize the space that you're taking up. Okay, so if I was sitting in a coffee shop, I have very minimal space that I'm taking up here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So here's my setup. I'm taking up maybe a laptop and a notebook's worth of space for this insanely powerful battle station. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the performance benchmarks. And as you can see in Cinebench R23 and Geekbench Single Core and Multi-Core, this thing has what it takes with the Ryzen 9 5900HS for the simulated benchmarks. As you move into 3D modeling, so the RTX 3050 built into the laptop has fantastic performance, but as you can see, that RTX 3080 completely blows away the good performance that the laptop comes with standard. Now, as you move into After Effects, you can see that this thing has stellar performance inside of After Effects. But as we go into video editing, you're not gonna have a huge bump in performance um, noticeably on average. You might have some faster render times with the GPU plugged in, but while you're video editing, you're not gonna see a huge bump in performance. That's why I said I was working on an edit earlier in the video and then I go in and I start rendering that edit with the GPU because you're not gonna see a huge bump in performance. Now, if you're in After Effects, you will see that bump in performance, but really I would say your biggest bump's gonna be After Effects, rendering out while video editing and 3D modeling because this thing already comes equipped with the RTX 3050 Ti. It's a great GPU especially for this thin and light package. Now, battery life between these two devices regarding the Flow X13 and the XG16 monitor. For the X13, you can see those battery life results coming up on the screen. These are actually all run on iGPU mode, so you're not gonna get the full performance of that GPU while getting these battery life results. Um, I recommend you know doing more of your kind of workflow processes, whether it be maybe photo editing, doing some business administration, and then get plugged in, do your 3D modeling, your rendering, your After Effects work, whatever it might be, plugged into power with the GPU turned on or the XG Mobile plugged in. Now over here for the monitor, you're gonna get about three to three and a half hours of battery life. And the color accuracy between both of these is very good. We have 98% sRGB with a Delta E less than two. And then over on the XG Mobile, we have 100% sRGB for the screen. So great color gamut range as well for this on the go battle station. Now, if you want to get a little bit more powerful laptop and possibly skip out on the external GPU, the XG Mobile, you could go ahead and get the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14 or the G15 if you have a slightly larger laptop. And you would be in all moonlight white. So you'd have a moonlight white mouse, you'd have a moonlight white screen, you'd have a moonlight white headphones, you'd have a moonlight white laptop. I mean, come on, let's get that moonlight white life going on. Um, you know, could be a good thing for you. Now, as far as the build quality is concerned for each of these devices, I actually have full reviews and unboxings for these two devices. And so I'm not gonna belabor all of the details here, but I wanna get you guys the essential details of this on-the-go battle station. If you have comments or questions, definitely comment below. I'd love to hear your perspective on what your thoughts are on this. Would you consider this your on-the-go battle station? To me, it is, it's a no-brainer. It's amazing how much performance you can have in such a small package. I mean, you literally are carrying around the performance of a desktop PC PC inside of what would be a 13 inch Herschel backpack. Again, all of the stuff that's here on the table will be linked in the description below. So links if ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. Here's some other videos um, that will relate to this video that you might like. I'll see you here in the next one.